Guys, Brian with PokeNE, second video of the series. We're gonna give you practical advice on how to start a Pokemon business. And when I say practical, I actually mean practical. We're gonna talk about real numbers today and um, actually what to do. So uh, first of all, I always do a credibility check because I think it's important to know I'm not some fake guru. Here's our Wix sales page. We did $68,000 in sales in the past 30 days, cool. Um, since the beginning of the year, we started in February. I'm gonna try to get through this fast, guys. We did da, 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 stand by, stand by, stand by. We did 520,000 sales. That's just one of our websites. Blah blah blah. You get it. Okay, guys. So here's what we're talking about today. So a lot of people, um, they've seen us on Vice, uh, which is like a big YouTube channel. 623,000 views. That's how a lot of people have found us. So. They're asking me, how do I start a Pokemon company? Well, I'm gonna tell you actual practical advice on how to get started. So number one, in our last video we talked about, it's not realistic to get involved with an American supplier right now. There's too much competition. Logan Paul, COVID, Steve Aoki, Pokemon Saves the World, all this stuff is adding into a crazy market, we all know it. And these suppliers, they don't wanna deal with newbies. They've got people, they don't have enough cards for their people already. And even if you somehow became involved with one of the suppliers, you're not gonna get the ETBs you want, you're not gonna get the booster boxes, you're gonna get Battle Styles blister packs. So we have to be creative, we have to find our own way, and that's the funnest, the most fun part about running a business. So guys, there's a few ways to do this, and I think all YouTubers say the same thing. Oh, buy cards and grade them. Sell the graded, like, no, that doesn't work. Everyone grades cards, there's too damn many of them. Let's go practical here, let's do something real. Here's how we started. I'm gonna show you exactly how we raised money to start this thing. So of course, being a good marketer that I am, I'm gonna flex my website, but this applies to anything, guys. You can go to eBay, you can go to my site, you can go to uh, any other Pokemon website, whatever. This is just practical advice on how to start your business. So um, first of all, you don't need to make a website right away. You can start on, I'd suggest Facebook Marketplace. Commission's only 5% compared to eBay and Mercari which are around like 10 to 12% nowadays. So start on Facebook Marketplace. Also in the holidays, a lot of times Facebook Marketplace um, gives you discounts on commission. Sometimes they void commission entirely if they're trying to build their brand. So something to keep in mind. This is super simple, guys. There's no, there's no guru course. There's no BS like follow me for more. Simplest thing ever, you're gonna be pissed when you hear how to do this. Go to a website, this is my website. Look at a box, $85 for this box. Guys, in Japan, these are all Japanese cards. In Japan, a booster box has 30 packs. So you're getting 30 packs for $85, right? Awesome, okay. Um, now, keep in mind, my website doesn't have very good deals. I um, have a great community, I'm trustworthy, I sell a good product and I ship it out within 12 to 24 hours. I provide a service um, that's bar like no one competes with how good our service is and so our prices aren't that great like i'll be the first to admit it so you're gonna find this box for cheaper somewhere else i promise you like you will it won't even be that hard so th that's how crazy this method is so okay so 85 dollars for the fusion art set right there's 30 packs in a box so let's do some quick maths because i'm not smart enough to do it in my head 85 divided by 30. each pack is two dollars and 83 cents guys now if you're starting a facebook marketplace account Here's how to make money. You charge four bucks for a pack, $120 for the box. Four dollars a pack times 30, $120. Take away your expense, which was $85. You made $35 on the box. Let's talk about margins on that. So $85 for the box, let's add 30% margin. Um, so you're, you're making over a 30% margin because a 30% margin, you're selling the box for $110. Divide that by 30. If you sell each pack for $3.68, you're making a 30% margin. That's better than our margins on my website, guys. That, like, that's a really good margin for e-commerce, especially Pokemon where you know you can sell it again and again and again and again. Guys, business isn't about how much money you make on one product, it's about scalability. So if you're going to a garage sale and you find a Hot Wheels car for $10 and you charge a 30% margin on it, no, it's not realistic. You're not. I mean, that's not. You're gonna not gonna make a living on that. But if you find a hundred Hot Wheel cars, and you charge a thirty percent margin, okay, now we're talking. What's better about Pokemon, for example, and this applies to any business where you can get stuff 
is you can get infinite of these guys. Um, our website, we have like 20 cases. So I'm flexing my website because I'm a business. I'm showing you guys a good example. Flex your stuff. But guys, literally, you could buy... Okay, so, so let, let's say 30% margin because that's really good. We don't charge a 30% margin because we scale. We can we sell freaking five cases a week. We don't need to we don't need to do 30% margin, but you can. So let's say um, let's say you buy a box for eighty five dollars. You add a 30% margin to it. That box is now one hundred and ten dollars. Take eighty five away. So you made twenty five dollars on one box. Not that big of a deal, but now multiply that by ten. Two hundred fifty-five dollars every ten boxes you sell. Um, now, how long does it take to sell ten boxes? That's up to you. That's how hard you want to hustle. But you see the principle of this. Now, I wouldn't recommend you buying ten boxes of the same thing, especially if you're new. What you're going to benefit from is variety. Um, so, I would say you buy maybe a box of fusion arts, cool, and then you go back and. And am I saying you have to buy it from my website? No, but it'd be appreciated. You buy a box of Fusion Arts. Awesome. So you get that. You buy a box of Blue Sky Stream. $107. Let's do our quick math. 107, the total, divided by how many booster packs are in the set. In Jap Japan, it's 30 booster packs. In English booster boxes, it's 36. So we're going to keep this example. It's $107. Um, you guys can't see that, can you? $107 for this box divided by 30. That is $3.56 a pack. So let's charge our 30% margin. $4, say $4.50, just to keep it nice and easy. Now, that might be a lot depending on who you ask, but uh, think about it, guys. Pokemon is for kids to adults, right? Kids and a lot of adults don't have $107 to spend on a box, they maybe have 10 so those people, even though $4.50 is obviously an upcharge from buying the box, a lot of people don't have $107 laying around, guys. They might want a taste of Blue Sky Stream. They might want to see, ooh, maybe I'll get the secret rare. They got 10 bucks, so they can buy a couple packs. That's why this works, guys. It's, it's not... Um, now, it, it's a different story if you're selling the box. If, if you just take my box for 107 you add 30% to that, Chances are someone's not going to pay you like 140 bucks for, uh, is that right? 107 plus 30%. Yeah. Chances are no one's going to pay $140 for a box of Blue Sky Stream. That's a ripoff. That's scalping. But they will pay $4.50 for a pack. It's like anything. If you go to Costco, you're going to get way more Pepsi if you buy the, uh, you know, 75 pack compared to if you buy the, um, you know, the, the 12 pack. But you might not have money to buy 75 cans of Pepsi. Same exact principle, you're dividing and you're conquering. So let's get back to the variety co uh, conversation. So again, if you buy 10 boxes of Blue Sky Stream, you gotta sell 300 packs of Blue Sky Stream. That's hard if you're starting out. So again, you buy two packs of Blue Sky Stream, awesome. So now you got two packs of Fusion Arts, you got two packs of Blue Sky Stream. Let's go down here, um, Towering Perfection's a great one because it's cheap. And I know, guys, this, this video is, like, low quality. I don't care. It's the content we're going for here. Okay, so here's Towering Perfection. $75 for this box. So let's do our math equation. The total, $75 divided by the packs, 30 $2.50 a pack is what you're paying. Uh, let's add our 30% margin, $3.25. Very affordable. Guys, if you go to your local game store, I guarantee you they're charging 4 to 5 bucks a pack for Towering Perfection guarantee you and you know what you know that why because they're doing exactly what i'm telling you guys they're doing this exact same thing at scale so okay so you charge 325 a pack for towering perfection you charge what 450 for blue sky stream and you charge uh, whatever the hell we said for fusion arts so okay so now we got three different boxes guys we got a good variety now people are going to be like oh um john has the plug on pokemon cards john's got all three of the newest sets he's got towering perfection blue sky stream ev heroes fusion arts he's the guy i want to go to compared to oh john he's that guy that sells all the fusion arts packs you know what i mean variety here's where you can take it a step further guys i lost the math already but you guys understand what i'm saying um you make a variety pack so you get towering perfection Blue Sky Stream, EV Heroes, and Fusion Arts. Those four are the newest sets, basically. Um, so you, you do exactly what I said. You do your 30% upcharge per pack. 
you put them all in one bag, you put a cute little sticker on it that says like variety pack and you sell it for that, that markup. So if, uh, okay, so let's, let's do some real math. So let's say the variety pack is three packs. So, uh, tower perfection, 75 divided by 30, that's $2.50 a pack. Um, 107 divided by 30 equals 356 plus 250. Basically add up what you pay, add 30% silver variety pack. Easy. I'm not editing these videos. I'm just I'm just going on. Um, you see what I mean? It, 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 this is how you start a business, guys. You start really small. But think about it, though. I mean, it's Christmas time coming, right, guys? Holiday season in America. You got variety packs of the four newest sets. Maybe add the 25th anniversary set. Now you got five newest sets and one variety pack. Do you know how giftable that is? The average gift, a, a gift that you buy somebody or that somebody would buy someone else, 25 to 35 dollars why because it sounds like a good chunk of money it just you feel good handing someone a 20 dollar bill you don't buy people 15 dollar gift cards you buy a 20 dollar gift card you buy a 25 dollar gift card if you like them and you buy a 50 dollar gift card if it's like your nephew that graduated high school so it's a very giftable price um so again if you're if you're telling people hey you can buy a towering perfection pack for 350 that's not giftable I mean, they might buy four or five of them, awesome, but make it easy for the customer. If anything, just sell packs of five. You get five towering perfections for what, $17, whatever the math is. Now it's giftable, it's about $20. $20 is cheap enough where basically anyone can afford it. I'm not trying to be offensive, I know a lot of people have financial hardships. Let's just not do this cancel culture thing. Everyone has 20 bucks who's watching this. And it's still enough where it feels it, it feels substantial. Um, it's a great giftable price, guys. Try to keep whatever products you offer in the twenty dollars range. Have some cheaper stuff, have some more expensive stuff, but you'll see the twenty dollars range is great. And then have something for fifty dollars. So let's say um, you know you've got EV Heroes, Tiring Perfection, Blue Skies from twenty fifth anniversary, and uh, whatever else Fusion Arts. Let's say you do two packs of each of those. You throw them in a variety bundle. Awesome. Or, here's where it gets really crazy. You know what people love right now in America? Mystery packs. I don't know why. I think it's stupid. But mystery packs sell like crazy. You probably need more than four or five varieties. You might want to do this like times ten and have like ten different booster boxes. You put different packs in the bag. You draw a question mark on it. You put it on the shelf or your marketplace, whatever. Mystery pack. Don't rip people off. Charge them a fair price. People just like that. Again, it's giftable. People like that. Think about what a Pokemon pack is, guys. Every Pokemon pack's a mystery pack. You you don't know what you're gonna get. You buy a Towering Perfection, you know, you might get the, um, uh, you might get like the Noivern or whatever, but you might get twenty other Pokemon. You know, think about your market. If you're in the market of Pokemon, the more variety, the better. The more mystery, the better. The whole the whole point of Pokemon is the mystery of it sell mystery packs it's genius um guys this is like actual practical advice here like subscribe to this channel it's i know it's ghetto uh displayed i know it's, it's a ghetto setup but this is real advice guys like you can literally make money doing this and again my website's not even very cheap you can straight up go on ebay buy um five booster boxes of whatever for a good price split them up and go go your your merry way. It's I mean guys, this is easy stuff. Um, cause, Cause here's the thing: when you want to get to the big leagues, you're gonna need money to start. Um, I started with eBay money, so I sold a bunch of stuff from Walmart on eBay. I uh, saved religiously, and I, I raised eleven thousand dollars from eBay alone. Um, not my real job. My real job, I'd never touch. I eventually quit my real job because my real job sucked. Um, but yeah, you guys can make a couple thousand dollars doing this especially if you start now right before the holiday season here here's an idea you make a variety pack you wrap it and like uh you get your mom or or whatever your spouse your significant other someone artsy you wrap it in like a little christmas bow and uh maybe you, you put a little deli bird sticker on it you make it real cute real holiday put it in a red bag with a, a deli bird on the back whatever you market it as a stocking stuffer variety pack you put that on Facebook Marketplace, watch them. Watch them sell like freaking crazy. And again, so, okay, so like we said, 
your uh, let's do let's do tiring perfection. So seventy five dollars, right? Divided by thirty, so two fifty a pack. You're gonna charge three twenty five a pack times thirty. So you're essentially selling the box for ninety seven dollars fifty cents. That's expensive if you're buying the box, but people again don't have seventy five dollars to spend, guys. They might have five bucks to spend. They want a pack. Here you go. You'll sell thirty packs quick. So ninety seven fifty for the box. You paid seventy five. So you made twenty two dollars fifty cents on a box. If you grind, if you grind really hard, um, you can make a lot of money doing this. So. Let's say you only have, uh, shit, I don't know, five hundred dollars in your name. You need like, you need a couple hundred dollars to start a business. Well, okay, um, so so five hundred divided by seventy-five. Okay, so you can buy like six booster boxes with five hundred bucks, and you'll have some left over. Six booster boxes. If you're making like twenty-five bucks a box, you just made hundred fifty dollars profit on a five hundred dollar investment. Now, here's what here's where it gets crazy. You add that to your uh, $500 you got back. Now you have 650 to play with. Okay. So now, how many booster boxes can we buy? 650 divided by 75. Now you can buy eight and a half booster boxes. Say you'd make your 25 bucks a box. Now you got 216 profit on that. You add that to your uh, original investment, which I don't remember. Now you have more money, whatever. Um, you see how this works though. You need a market, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Mercari, whatever. Make sure if you're doing eBay or Mercari, you, you take into account there is like a 11 to 12% commission. Keep that in mind. Um, but guys, simple stuff. This is how you start a business. And it sounds so silly, but this is exactly what we did. Um, we started with, so we had our money from eBay and I was experimenting. I bought, a, you know, $500, $600 worth of stuff and uh, I sold it. It sold quickly, and so now I made on that thousand dollars. I maybe I made a hundred bucks, whatever. Now I got eleven hundred to play with. Spent more money. Okay, great. Now I got twelve hundred fifty dollars to play with. Did it again. You just keep doing it. Scale. It's all. That's all it comes down to, guys. Is scale. If you can make a hundred dollars, you do that ten times. Now you got a thousand dollars. You do it ten times. Now you got. To, it sounds. Like, I'm making it overly simple. It sounds like I'm being, like, this guru um, fraud. Uh, but th this does work. Um, and I always hated that saying because back in the day, I was, like, a garage sale junkie. So I went garage sale to garage sale. And in and, and, and that example, it doesn't work because, like, say you make 100 bucks at a garage sale. Oh, just do it 10 times. Well, you might not find 10 garage sales worth a damn. Right? It's a garage sale. But, excuse me. But with... Um, this stuff where you have a steady supply, you can do it as many times as you want. So if you if you make a hundred bucks, do it ten more times. Easy. And there's no rush, guys. Be patient. Like it might take you a month to sell ten booster boxes. Okay. But here's the thing. You provide good service, you ship your stuff fast, you put business cards in there. We're gonna talk about marketing, guys. That's a whole different video. A whole different video. You you do the you do the right thing. You shake hands, you send free stuff, you send, uh, we send all of our people birthday cards if we know it's their birthday. You do cute things. Free Pokemon, uh, you know, commons and uncommons. Kids love it. You, you send them a common EV. Customer for life. So you do little special things. And then the people that bought your 10 booster boxes, which say, uh, depending on how you split these up, I mean, you're only selling like one or two packs at a time using my logic. So if you've got, uh, okay, you got 10 booster boxes. Uh, so that's uh, that's 300, right? 10 times 30. So that's 300 booster packs, right? Say uh, say the average person spends like 20 bucks. Okay, great. Well, you got like 15 people to impress now. Is that right? 15 people times $20? No. I'm. It's 2 in the morning. Um, anyway, you, you have 300 booster packs to sell, right? No one's going to buy 300 at a time. You're going to have a ton of customers from that. In theory, you might have 300 customers. Maybe 300 customers buy one booster pack each. Great. Shipping's kind of a nightmare there. But now you have 300 customers. 150 of them are going to come back if you impress them. And then they're going to tell their friends. Uh, da, 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 da. 
guys, it's so easy to start. I, I hear all these people going, oh, I can't find a supplier. Be your own supplier. eBay is your supplier. My website could be your supplier. Um, stop making excuses. You don't need a supplier. If you go to any local game shop, they sell five. They sell packs for five bucks, all day. Let's let's do some. Let's do an experiment. So okay, obviously I've I've uh, pitched my website a handful of times. So let's do something more practical for you people that want to start an eBay business. Let's let's do this real quick. So sorry, I lost my mouse. Um, okay, so here's eBay. Uh, what's what's a new set like Evolving Skies? Yeah, okay. Evolving Skies. Uh, that's is that the new set? Yeah, Evolving Skies. Okay, so this dude right here is selling Evolving Skies for $125. Free shipping, so great. There's 36 booster packs in a box, so $125 divided by 36. $3.47 a pack. Sell each pack for 5 bucks, Right? Or $4.50. $4.50 minus $3.47. You're making a buck oh three a pack. You times that by 36. You made thirty-seven dollars in a box. It's a lot of money. It, it adds up. You do that ten times, you get three hundred seventy dollars. It's like, come on, guys. That's that's how you start the business. That's it. So I hope I hope that all makes sense to you. We're not gonna ramble on anymore. It's been, Jesus, it's been twenty minutes. That's how to do it. All right, we're gonna call it a day. Uh, subscribe for more. We're gonna go into real practical advice here. Every video is gonna be practical. I promise. Let's call it a day. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Tell me what you guys want to learn more about being a business. As you can see, I take my sweet time explaining this. Um, yeah, let's just get after it, guys. Make some money.